Yo, yo, yo! What's up and welcome back to another one. Today's Foul Friday. I told you we were gonna have Foul Fridays coming back and coming back strong, but today's is a lot different. Now we're gonna jump right into it. I'm not gonna babble and beat around the bush because this is serious, y'all. So one of the most recommended things, one of the most commented suggestions, above all, in the lifetime of this entire channel, I mean for three years now, for almost three years, I think that's how old we are, the number one requested thing has always been, Bobby, get yourself a darn dog, man. Everybody has been saying it since day one, Bobby, you're killing yourself picking up your birds, get you a dog. Bobby, you're stupid. Why don't you have a dog yet? <laughs> Literally all the above. You guys have been requesting a dog forever. And believe me, it isn't that I haven't wanted a dog. It was just that I've just been so busy with the channel. It takes so much hands-on and so much pre-thought and work. I mean, it's constant work providing a video every other day. And then on the big waterfowl hunts, you know how that goes. Handling a camera just like this and a dog and a call and a shotgun and a camera on my head and decoys and calling the shot, I've always been scared to. But recently, I'm sure a lot of my avid viewers, you have noticed that I've been hinting around that your boy got a dog. But yeah, basically I've mentioned it in a few videos, just basically low key hinted around about the fact that I'm getting a dog. So, uh, yeah, something, something really, really bad. Kind of the worst thing that could happen, happened. So I'm gonna get into that portion of it after I tell you about Fred. So I got a yellow lab. His name is Fred, and right now he's right at six and a half months old. He's from Nashville, Tennessee, and his original owner and breeder, his name's Will. And I mean, big shout out to Will. I mean, honestly, this guy is one of the best human beings I've probably ever met in my life. He hit me up on Instagram, um, and this was probably in October. Yeah, because Fred was born October 22nd. So right before he had the litter, he got a hold of me on Instagram. And if you haven't followed me, follow me on Instagram right here. He shot me a DM, and he was like, Bobby, I'm getting ready to have an epic litter. Uh, this breed is just phenomenal. Fred comes from two champions. His mom and dad are both just champs. I mean, have been champed out. Awesome field trial dogs and amazing, and I mean amazing duck dogs. And this isn't the, their first breed. This isn't their first rodeo. They have bred champion duck dogs for quite some time. His whole family has. Well, long story short, Will now works for one of the biggest kennels in Nashville. So, for the last six months to seven months now, he's had Fred and he's been training him. And I mean training him hard. Fred is a beast. That a good dog, Daisy. Good boy, Fred. But yeah, there he is. Uh, I have a lot of other videos of Fred actually retrieving and hitting the water extra hard. He's got a lot of training under his belt. So, long story short, Will was like, man, uh, you know, I'd like to give you one of these dogs for the channel. I've been a subscriber to your channel ever since you got going. I think he's been around since like 1,000 subs. And he's like, man, I'd love to give you a fully done dog so I can watch him on your videos. And I was like, that is like the most selfless thing anybody has ever done for me here on the channel. Literally breed a dog, train the dog, and then give them to me for free. And I'm like, dude, there's no way I'm taking the dog for free. He's like, dude, I'm not taking your money. Please take the dog. If you want him, he's yours. I'll let you know when he's done. We'll stay in contact, yada, yada, yada. So that's what's been going on since October, since Fred was born. Lo and behold, here we go. Well, I knew I would be getting him around this time, you know. This time period, around April, is when me and Will agreed, you know. Will was like, dude, it'd probably be a good time around April. He'll probably be fully trained up, probably be as much as I can do with him. Plus, Will's going to be getting busy in the summer with clients' dogs. So, I've been uh, ready to go get him for the last month or two. 
<sighs> but lo and behold, lo and behold, yesterday I get a call from Will. He's like, hey man, we got bad, bad news with, with, with old Fred. I'm like, what man? And I knew it. I, I knew it before he said it. Parvo. Parvo. I've never dealt with Parvo. A lot of you guys know my buddy Wade that we hunt with a lot, my partner, and he had a lab that had Parvo, and it cost him like probably a thousand bucks uh, to get them all better. And like I say, I've never, I've never dealt with it. So, uh, long story short, he took him into the vet yesterday, and I know I'm pacing around because I've been dealing with this the last like 24 hours, 36 hours of my life. I've been worried about Fred and and literally getting him in the vet and so we got him hooked up we got him in the vet they did confirm it is parvo uh they don't think it uh, they, it's not really bad uh but it could take anywhere up to a week for him to get better now i was talking to the vet on the phone and i was like please excuse me i know nothing about parvo i was like will this affect him down the road you know will this affect the training that he that he's already got will this affect his bloodline if i was to breed him all these questions they're like absolutely not uh the medication and, and the process for for getting rid of parvo in the last 10 years the treatment for parvo has really came around and she was like he should be better in you know three days to a week and i'm like well how much is that going to cost because you're we're always curious vet bills can get crazy right she was like oh maximum 700 bucks so i'm like well that's awesome like i was figuring like a thousand three thousand bucks for treatment you know because again i know nothing about parvo one thing i do know is that there has to be a ton of you that have experienced parvo and having to treat your dogs at a young age or an old age guys if you have any 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 information for me that could help me because i got to bring them home and i have three dogs i have Jax, sissy and sophie like you all know I gotta keep them safe too. So we want to provide uh, Fred a good place here at the house, but I don't want him pooping all in the grass and then infecting the other animals. So what I need from you guys most of all, above all, the main reason why I'm doing today's video is to not only inform you the situation with Fred, and I want you guys to be excited because Fred is gonna be one heck of a duck dog. I'm so excited. But more importantly, I need your guys' help. Please, if you have any helpful information that could, you know, prevent the other dogs from getting infected, maybe make Fred more comfortable, maybe help Fred get better faster, or maybe some bad facts that I need to know about Parvo. Anything that you guys think is important that I need to know, please drop it down in the comment section below. I really, really appreciate it if you would do that. Oh, back here in the shop. Back here in the man kit. The man cave, the shop. How many of y'all have been around since day one? I'm sure a lot of you remember. Every Friday, I'd be in this flower chair. And that's how we built the channel, you know? This flower chair, this little spot, I remember I used to be on third shift. I'd come home all night long at work. I'd uh, write me up an idea for a video for y'all, like teaching you something, you know? If it was duck spreads, goose spreads, anything. I used to do all these videos right here and this is again this is how we built the channel and uh to get a dog finally of my own now i know we got storm the, bl the black female storm i know we got her this year and that that's wade's dog and uh man there's just something about getting your first duck dog a lot of you know that i wasn't raised duck hunting um i kind of fell into it and found it by myself in my later teenage uh days so uh i never I've never had a lot of opportunity before we started this two and three years ago to spend money and especially on a duff dog and it's just insane um, how far the channel has come all because of you guys so I think above and beyond uh, yeah we're going through a little tur turmoil with uh, old Frederick right now but that's all gonna pass we're gonna get him better uh, he I guess today he we took him in yesterday at like I think it was like three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, he had started having blood coming out the wrong end. Yeah, and uh, I guess that's one of the things with Parvo. The first day is they puke a lot. Second day is it starts getting much worse. So we got him in at like three yesterday. 
They started uh, putting them on big IVs and getting them just flooded with tons of antibiotics and whatnot. Everything they do, like I said, I'm sure there's a ton of you that know a lot more about Parvo than I do. So, any helpful comments, anything that would help me here at home once I bring them home because what's going to happen is old dad and I, we're going to be making a truck to Nashville to go pick up Fred in the next couple days. It could be tomorrow. Basically, this is the way it's going to go. Like I said, Will works for a huge kennel, so they got 20 to 40 dogs at any time. And so, all those dogs cannot be subject to Parvo. And Fred's never around those dogs, it's just that, you know, Fred can't be in his house anymore. It's just too important, you know, all these other dogs, it's just too touchy. So, we got to go get him picked up ASAP. I mean, like, right when he gets out of the vet, he's coming home. So, basically what's going to happen is the vet is going to call Will or myself and be like, Hey, you can come get him tomorrow. And right when I get that call, me and Dad are going to get on the road. And I think it's right at an 11-hour drive. Right at an 11-hour drive to Nashville. So, we might meet halfway depending on Will what, what Will wants to do. Um, I know he said he did want to meet halfway. He doesn't mind driving, but uh, he's done enough. I mean, I'm telling you. Will, Will, big shout out to Will. Thank you, Will. Follow Will on Instagram right here. He does a lot of dog training stuff. Uh, he said he was going to start putting out some dog training videos. Come here, Jax. All right, Jackson. All right. We got to worry about Jax here, hoping he doesn't get too jealous of old Frederick. But more importantly, we have to keep Jax... And, and the rest of the dogs here at the house safe from the Parvo. So, again, any comments, I would greatly, greatly appreciate. And I know this video wasn't the most action-packed, but I can tell you what, dogs are our lives, man. A lot of you guys don't have kids like I do, but even though I have kids, my dogs are my kids as well. And yesterday when I got the call about Fred, I'm like... Ugh, your heart just sinks. Because it's been seven months that I've been showing, you know, Harper and Bodie the pictures of Fred growing up. And it's really sucked. We haven't been able to have Fred here, you know, to grow up with the kids. And the kids enjoy Fred as a puppy because he's getting professionally trained, you know. It's important. But um, we've missed out on some family time with him. But at, in the end, the training that he's received for these seven months is just phenomenal. So... Big, big shout out to Will. Um, I thought this was going to be a way easier process. Me and Will did both. And uh, like I said, getting the Parvo deal, I'm like, okay. I'm going to have to go get him in a few days. So we might as well tell you guys everything that's been going on because I've been biting my tongue forever not telling you guys about Fred. I've hinted, I've hinted around about it, and some of you have caught on. But uh, yeah. Finally going to have a duck dog. So all my solo duck hunts, we're going to have them. All the dove hunts, pigeon hunts, we're going to be hit. We're going to have them. We're going to get Fred out there. He's going to get to hunt more than most dogs in America. I mean, if you think about it. So he should be a freaking animal. Let's all say a big prayer and hope that he uh, comes around really good and, and fast and gets a good recovery from this darn parvo. I guess over in Tennessee, they've been having kind of an outbreak about it. If you guys know anything about that, drop a comment as well. But, yeah. Before we go, I was going to tell you how he got the Parvo. Uh, Will, Will narrowed it down how he got it. And I'll make it short because I'm sure you guys are about sick of hearing me just sit and babble. Long story short, Will lives in the country. And uh, he loves labs. He loves dogs in general, but obviously he loves labs. Like I said, he lives in the country. Someone dumped a lab out there. And when Will seen him on the side of the road, he's like, man, he looks hungry, you know? So he loaded him up in the bed of the truck, took him home, and, you know, started feeding him some scraps. Lo and behold, the dog had parvo. And it didn't show other than him being kind of skinny, you know? He wasn't... He wasn't puking and doing crazy stuff. He might have just got it. Um, I can't believe that someone would dump a dog in general. It, no matter the circumstance, I can't believe that someone would dump a dog. And then not only that, but an infected dog that could go infect other people's animals just like this. And that's exactly what happened. Ugh, people. Ugh, I'm not talking to you guys, but I'm talking to people in general. 
If you have a dog with parvo, don't go dump it on a dirt road. Take it to the vet. If it's too late for the dog, have him put it down. You know, that's not that expensive. Don't go doing that. That's a lazy thing to do. And it's the inhumane thing to do. Don't do that. <sighs> so, yeah, long story short, it's been a whirlwind the last few days with, with old Fred. But here in a couple days, once he's better, we're going to get him home. We're going to get all this stuff wrapped up and done. So I hope you guys are excited for Fred to get here. I'm going to stop rambling. I wanted to inform you guys everything that was going on. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be excited. Probably just as excited as me that we're going to have old Fred the Duck Dog here. It's crazy. We got to name him as a family. Uh, we named him Fred. He didn't. We did as a family. My first dog I ever had was named Red. And Fred is going to end up being pretty, I mean, a really dark dark yellow he'll probably end up almost being orangish red once he gets maybe two to three years old i was like i can't call him red let's call him fred because it has to be a direct name uh, fred so i hope you guys like the name i hope you guys are excited but please drop your helpful comments down below i would greatly appreciate it and subscribe if you have it because we're obviously going to be having a lot of dog videos on the way dog training you know at home from not a professional. I have trained Jax to be one heck of a retriever. So if I can train a bullheaded bully to retrieve a ball like Jax does, man, Will and I, with our training, we're just gonna kill it with old Fred. So subscribe if you haven't. We will see you on the next one. Peace.